by 2050, Africa will have a third of the world's youngest people. The average age of an African farmer is 60, despite the median age being 19. As farmers grow older and young people move away in search for job opportunities due to negative perceptions around farming, who will be left to feed the continent? I have always said if I wasn't traveling the world, I'd be farming and doing real estate. Who knows? Let me know if you'll be interested in seeing different series featuring farming and real estate. Anyway, a while back, I embarked on a mission to get some land for farming. So this is one of the places we found. I was accompanied by my mom and sister and we made several visits because buying land isn't a one day process. It involves the area chief, the sellers, surveyors, and even lawyers, as well as multiple visits to the property. So we continue into the bush. It's gonna be transformed, you love it. Searching for the right land can be a very hectic process, but now let's get to the good part. Good morning, good morning. A very sunny morning here. And I'm headed to the farm. A lot of times people said, African tigress, you don't show us farms or villages in Kenya, you do it in other countries. Well, because maybe they are not paying attention, but today I want to take you to my farm. I'm gonna take you to where I am farming avocados for export. So this is the village where I farm. It's, I can call it my village now because I got land in this area because the village where I come from, the city encroached. So there's no farming land there. So I had to come and join our community here. As you can see, uh, there is someone growing maize, but I'm not growing maize here. Farming can actually be cool, especially if you're gonna get some cute boots. So it's very muddy. So you have to wear boots. And of course, my camera is here, my camera friend. If you're wondering what I'm holding, this is called Gideri. So this is basically food. When you're going to the farm, the farms are far away. So you might get very hungry. You'll definitely get hungry because you come late from the farm. So what you do is you carry food. So this is Gideri and I have some avocados in my bag and of course water. But for now, let's go straight to the farm. We are finally in the farm and this is the first part. This is where the farm managers, the people who are helping me around the farm, stay and they also have their own little garden here. So they're growing beans. This is beans. The land is massive. Instead of buying food and this being in a village, it's better they just plant their own food. So they also are rearing some chicken as you can see. and. Yeah, basically it's just a place for them to stay as they are helping me with managing the farm. They have their own little dog and of course my Gideri is ready. So this is maize and beans. Like I told you, this is going to be my meal this morning before I take you straight into the farm. I always have to come to the farm or send someone to regularly come and check on how everything is going whenever i'm not around it's very important this is the early stage so we're still transferring some from the nursery to the farm itself so today i'm bringing you along in one of those farm visits i hope you enjoy it this is the avocado plant very small yet to grow 
So it's all over this farm. Here's more avocado, so more plants here to be transferred. Very important, but they have already started eating. I was so hungry because <laughs> I didn't have breakfast, woke up so early to get here. So, so for the love of avocados, you grow what you eat and eat what you grow. <laughs> So this is a traditional vegetable, it's called murenda, but you know it's hard to clear the whole piece of land. We have workers helping, but it's just a lot of work for one person. Anyway, down there at the end of this is actually a river, a big river. I'm gonna get you all the way down to the end of it, but this is the piece of land it's really really big this is 14 acres of land so we've dug trenches this is to reduce on soil erosion so there's a trench running all the way because you know at the end of this like i told you it's a river so to the run water it's called the rain water that's running the running rain water from the ground to prevent it from spoiling the vegetation you have to dig a trench you can see how deep it is so this as you can see it's accumulating the water hence you're protecting the farm so this farm lies on 14 acres of land and at the end of it is this river which is a life saver it helps whenever it's not raining because it helps us to irrigate the crops and the farm managers also have their own little garden here close to the river where they are doing their growing their own crops you know little foods here so that they don't have to buy food you can see there's also some sugar cane they've just grown some little things for them to eat you know it's better that way than shopping you can see amaranthas we call it mchicha they have some cassava They've grown some little cassavas, just like just some little gardening here and there. There is some tomatoes here. This is tomato. And yeah, let's continue with this farm visit today. Well, so let me just show you something very interesting. So this is going to be a fish pond. We're going to put here fish someday not now but yeah when that time comes i'll definitely keep you posted so this is the fish pond area and of course it's very close to the river and that is the other side of the river and yeah a lot of things because there's a lot of space so the avocados are gonna be ready in about two years by two years we would have started harvesting let me show you one of my favorite childhood game can you see that look at this plant and then tap on it i'm going to explain to you what we've done here when you go back to the nursery so this is grafted avocado so this is gonna take two years but if you planted this fruit one it would take seven years to grow so this is gonna take two years and i'll show you how we do it so making this farm is not an easy work can you see over the river so that is the bush it was on that side then there up to this uh trench that we dug is where uh the most recent acquisition that is still being cleared and this as you can see this is what the workers just cleared so yeah this is how it goes and of course to that other side was the first side the one that's a bit clear on that side yeah just that you can't see the fruits yet because they are still small we're gonna give it two years so it's also very important because sometimes it's dry so you're gonna have a tap so this tap okay there's no water right now because it's not being pumped but you have to have a tap so that 
when the, there is no water during the rainy, the dry season that is, during the dry season, you can put a pipe here and you can water your plants. It's very important. So there's a lot of taps in this, maybe about 10 taps on this piece of land. And they get the water from the river to the tank. There's a tank where the caretaker is staying. So from that place, they open the tank and the water runs to this side. So let's keep going. To this side, like I told you on the other side, it's still a bush. So this one needs to be cleared. And once it's cleared, as you can see, we have like, this is what it also looks like. Then they'll dig out the stumps and identify spots where we can plant. And at the end of the day, this is going to be like really very clear. It's gonna be like really amazing, like a proper, proper avocado farm. So this is the tap that the water gets pumped from over there down at the river to the tank by Bakari and then after that the water is opened to the taps when they need to irrigate the plants and these are the pipes. well so to end this up i want to show you something so this is the avocado so this is how it's planted as you can see you just plant the seed see that so this is the avocado that the seed has been planted so for you to plant this taking this to the ground for it to be ready it will take seven years so instead this is what we do so we do grafting grafting helps the avocado grow better and also the specific species the has species that's for export so let me show you what's happening here so as you can see this is grafted if you, you're very keen you can see this has been inserted into the root so this is the species that is used for exports and it grows for two years by two years we should be starting to harvest so yeah this is it as you can see can you see that it looks like it's split because we did grafting this and the export species is actually basically this So he is trying to untie the grafted plant, but it's impossible to do it with your hand. You need a sharp object in order to do it. Well, so that is it. In case you have any questions about avocado farming, be sure to ask me and I will definitely give you the best information because I'm working with experts that, help me, that are helping me with this because I love farming and I'm not an expert but I know a good, quite a good amount of information. Well, that was a day well spent at the farm. Please make sure you hit the like button, share, subscribe, tell all your friends to subscribe and enjoy more beneficial videos. And very soon, coming to your grocery and dinner table.